What up, what up, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Moan T, and the channel is called Five Minute Cigar Review, and that's what I'm going to try to give you is a five minute cigar review. <clears throat> Hopefully, minus a lot of coughing. Let's jump right into it. Today's special guest is one that I should have done earlier, and I forgot to do one on this similar cigar last year. Uh, so let me tell you, it is the LFD Super Bowl Edition. LFD Super Bowl Edition. I've gotten these cigars the last three or four years. I did a review on one, I think, 2019. I didn't do one on last year, and I forgot to do one so far this year. So here it is, the LFD Super Bowl Edition. And LFD is one of my favorite uh, cigar makers. Um, they make a lot of good stuff, a lot of strong, bold, full-bodied, flavored cigars that I enjoy. Uh, let me tell you what this has in it. It is a Ecuadorian Habano wrapper and Dominican Republic binder and filler. And for the artwork, they use a, I believe it's a Connecticut, U.S. US Connecticut for the artwork, which is kind of cool. <coughs> now, it still has a band here, but I do like the, the uh, wrapper part that is different. That's the Super Bowl there, or the football, I should say. Um, I kind of wish they did the same thing with the band. As I mentioned before, when I smoked the, uh, I believe it was the Epic, that had the E on there for a band, um, I like that natural tobacco band as opposed to the uh, paper band. But that's enough about that. It is a beautiful cigar. It has a little barber pole up here at the top. Just a really good looking cigar. I think they said it was a perfecto shape, but to me it was more torpedo-like as it was flat at the bottom and pointed up at the top um it's got a f decent draw the draw's a little bit tight but not too bad you can see my cheeks kind of having to draw in to work it a little bit but not so bad that it's a deal breaker or anything like that the ash is nice and tight i've smoked probably about three or four of these now here's the deal uh, I forgot to mention, with the Super Bowl edition cigars, you can only, you're only supposed to be able to purchase them, or you can only, they're only available, I should say, in the state where the Super Bowl is being played, um, unless you have some connections, and eventually sometimes you start seeing them online from stores, they might be down in that uh, state, or maybe they've just uh, gotten their hands on them elsewhere, but that's usually the only place you can get them is in the state where the Super Bowl is played. I was uh, able and lucky enough to get a few because some people I know down in Florida for last year's or this year's Super Bowl. It is a nice, bold, full body. No, I'd say medium to full. It's not. It's it's not quite full body, but it's right there on the cusp, if you will. Um, it's got some pretty good flavors there. There's a spice that seems to permeate all the way through. There's a little bit of that coffee and a little cream, but not coffee and cream, coffee and separate cream. And uh, what else is in there? I would say it's kind of woody. Um, I didn't write down my notes on this one yet uh, like I usually do. So I'm kind of playing off of memory and what I can taste now. As you know with cigars, um, everybody tastes something a little bit different. I'm usually pretty good at at what I actually taste, but sometimes I'll smoke a cigar and I taste one thing and then the next time I smoke it, I might taste something a little bit different or something extra, or maybe I won't taste something I tasted before. And I think that also, that has a lot to do with like what I was drinking or eating prior to smoking either one of those cigars. But this one here is pretty consistent. Like I said, there's sort of a woodiness there. There's spice, there's cream. And I would have to say there's probably some coffee. Yeah, definitely some coffee in there. It's an all-around good cigar. If you get a chance, find one, buy it. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, go online. I think there's still a couple places uh, that have them for sale. And it's worth the effort. It's, if you're a collector like I am, because um, what I did was I bought two boxes. I bought one to smoke and one to save. I collect a lot of cigars. So if you're a collector like I am, these are worth collecting. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, as always, I appreciate you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave your comments and please share the video with everybody and anybody. Y'all be cool, stay smoky, and as always...
Peace out.